are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing well. Thanks for having me here, Tariq. All right. And we have Deborah St. Pierre, uh, co founder of and CEO of Althea, as well as co founder of Sommelier. Uh, congratulations. I, I think this is, uh, you're my first female co dual co founder and CEO at two blockchain startups. <laughs> and I've been, I'm going to have been in crypto for nearly a decade. And this is amazing. So, uh, congratulations and welcome. Yes, and this is why I appear to be very tired. <laughs> I totally imagine. All right, well, we're we're we we really great to have you. Um, I'm going to start off with some really you know quick questions just to get an understanding of who are you. So, um, Deborah, how did you get into crypto? Who are you, and where did you come from? Those are those are big questions, right? Um, yeah. So yeah, to, to, so it's early, you know, to. 2000s, uh, you know, late, uh, gosh, I guess it's about 2010, and um, I was fighting a good fight for net neutrality and, um, you know, freedom of the internet, and uh, working on that from kind of a legislative perspective, um, and then got very interested in how decentralized systems could, you know, make this all possible for us to sort of hold the the ownership and choice um, in a programmatic way, right, instead of um, by pushing the legislators and, and that kind of thing. And um, so we also started mining some Bitcoin. Um, and we had little kids at the time, so it warmed up the, the baby's room with the, <laughs> and the miners. And, that is um, nice. And got into buying some Litecoin ASICs very early in, in those days. Ooh, and very you nice. know, pre uh, Mount Gox uh, yeah. um, debacle and, and kind of, you know, rode the, rode the train from there um, to where we're at now. Yo, oh, excellent, excellent! Congratulations, and uh, you know, I, you you are the CEO of Althea. So, how did you progress from that point now to leading, you know, one of the leading, uh, you know, telecommunications and blockchains firms in the world? Like, how did this happen? Um, well, I, I think it happens the way that everything sort of um, good successes always happen. It's it's a lot of work. You 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 come in every day and you show up and you, and you keep building and you keep working. Um, and it, uh, so we were. I was working sort of on decentralized systems from a hardware perspective in um, 2018 when I met Jahan Trembeck and Justin Kilpatrick, the other two co-founders mm -hmm. of Althea, um, who um, were working on the software. Um, and I knew right away that Althea was the answer. Uh, to coordinating a distributed system for uh, decentralized ISP infrastructure. Um, fell in love that moment with Althea, this concept and, and the software that Jahan and, and Justin were building and, and came on board and started um, helping with that and, and working on that and deploying that here in my own hometown um, where we were, you know, the, um, the centralized systems of ISPs were failing. And, yeah. um, you know, now we have about 40% of the market share actually here in, in my hometown. Um, yeah, uh, I hear also that you guys actually uh, provide like bandwidth for like firefighters and emergency response professionals. Is that true or am I dreaming that? No, that's exactly right. So, you know, and this is why we really, you know, when we look at blockchain and systems, we have to have high degrees of reliability, right? Because that's exactly okay. right. We have um, several EMS buildings, um, an ambulance, like, barns, whatever they call them, and then several fire <laughs> fire stations, along with right. many businesses, your local subway um, provides their, gets their internet um, and pays for it with cryptocurrency. And has been. Yeah, no, that, that is amazing. And, and congratulations and, and congratulations as well on, on the team and the growth. I, it, we, 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 you know, we struggle to find companies that, that actually have non, you know, sort of speculative or trading impacts with blockchain technology in the real world. Um, and I think uh, I, I would say that to hear that you guys are supporting uh, emergency response teams is is a massive differentiator. And and it's not just really relegated to the US, right? Uh, I mean, can Altheos technology be used elsewhere in the world? Yeah, we, we've deployed in South America. Uh, we have networks in Nigeria. Um, and then we're working wow. with a license in Ghana as well. So, um, it, you wow. know, he is a software platform. It lives um, on consumer routers. Um, we're very flexible. We even made things for MIPS-based devices. So we can get, um, you know, things into sort of tiny to, uh, <laughs> tiny routers and, yeah. and, and a variety of different environments. So like, okay, like I'll show you. There's one of our little routers right here, a little, little box. Yeah, and, you yeah, know, yeah. And... Yeah. How, how's that different from, say, Helium, whose price has gone up? I'm assuming that, um, how are you guys differentiated? 
Yeah, I think that's a, that's a really good question. So Althea is a, is a, is a global platform for, uh, for bandwidth sales. So we, we take the sort of open and interoperable market in the, from the data center all the way down to the user device. So Althea is medium of transport agnostic, meaning um, user-owned fiber, multi-stakeholder systems with fixed wireless, um, you know, Ethernet, uh, fiber, and LTE as well. Um, uh, can all be paid in a multi-hop way. So Althea's sort of innovative pay-for-forward system allows each person, regardless of how they're delivering that bandwidth, to be automatically mm -hmm. compensated. Um, and it also works um, not just in a single hop, but um, through throughout a distributed system. So you can have four, five, right. six, seven, eight. That's exactly how the internet is, right? It's a series of tubes. Whereas with yes. helium is primarily a poop. <laughs> <laughs> It's a series of I see what you did there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so in my understanding of helium is primarily a proof of coverage um, or proof of location type system where you do prove that you have your radio broadcasting in a certain location. So it's, they're kind of fundamentally, right. you know, different types of projects or ways of approaching um, distributing bandwidth. Got it. So how did uh, you get from distributing bandwidth to the cosmos? What, what, what brought you? What, what happened that the Cosmos became important to Althea? Well, we are currently sitting at like 71% of the micro transactions of the XI network. Um, wow. And as I said earlier- Okay, slow down, let's let's repeat that again. Wait, <laughs> repeat that metric. <laughs> so for the majority of the 2020 timeframe, if you look at the micro transaction volume of XI, we are over 70% oh. of that. Um, so we have quite amazing. a bit of volume of, of little small microtransactions moving around the network. And as we were talking about before, um, you know, re reliability and uptime and these kinds of things are very important. So um, we have emergency management services that are um, counting on, you know, having 99.9% .9 uptime. So it's important for us to have a, a sovereign blockchain um, um, with um, a decentralized group of infrastructure providers that Cosmos lets us build. And the the open and interoperable marketplace and, and ethos that is Althea is finds its home very well in the open and interoperable uh, IBC uh, world of Cosmos. Got it. And 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 so you proceeded from Cosmos to then uh, Peggy now called Gravity. Um, you know what what's happening with Gravity and and where are you at and and what's your role in you know essentially bringing Gravity to life. On the cosmos yeah so gravity is the ethereum to cosmos bridge um and from cosmos to ethereum so it goes both ways and send ethereum or in our case we we'll be using die right so uh users interact in the althea ecosystem in a stable coin so they don't have to worry about speculative value um but if we bridge um using the gravity bridge from uh, die to cosmos we can um, batch the transactions, which lowers the cost of gas by a significant uh, amount, and then allows us to start to to open possibilities for for DeFi. So for myself, um, you know, this this was a project that is built by our, our technical co-founders, Johan Trembeck and um, primarily Justin Kilpatrick. Um, they've done an amazing job on it. Um, where I feel like my leadership comes in is imagining the possibilities that we can take for our everyday folks that are part of the system, our businesses, our, our everyday liquidity providers, and give them that financial empowerment um, through the um, Ethereum ecosystem to uh, the Cosmos ecosystem as well, all you know, at, at a gas price that regular people can't afford. But I think it's even bigger than that, right? I mean, the gravity bridge would not have happened if you hadn't brought organization and execution to the entire process. Uh, I mean, don't get me. I'm, I mean, yeah, we're all engineers, but somebody needs to to hold a you know hold a big stick and say, let's get this done. I mean, am I correct that again, you know, you are the driving force behind um, making sure that gravity got delivered, and and not for want of trying, right? I mean, it's my understanding. Am I wrong? Just tell me. No, no, that's not it. I'm I'm just. Uh, well, I always think that I, I tend to be more of a collaborative type of person, and I, I right. you know, appreciate everyone's contribution here. But my contribution has been in the leadership and push. Like I said, the, the right. biggest strong point I have is I show up and we work and we get things done. Um, Got it. So that's awesome. And, and and so let's talk about Sommelier. How did you get involved in Sommelier? What is your journey now that you know? I mean, how did you bring Althea into the Sommelier fold? 
Yeah, I think that it really sort of came to light when uh, Zaki and I were talking, you know, maybe last last year, where we were talking about all of these deliverables, like how do we make these things happen? I mean, it's great to talk about, you know, at the empowerment of decentralized finance. It's great to talk about, you know, um, you know, growing Cosmos ecosystem, but we were ready to get it done. Um, and so we made a kind of a commitment. I, I believe it was about March or April of last year that you know we were going to collaborate together to to really you know bring these ideas to, to light. And I really have uh, appreciated Zucky's um, structure for what was Peggy JV, which is now becoming Sommelier, which is to bring in you know the talent um, of the Cosmos ecosystem together in a cooperative way. Yeah, no, that's that's excellent. And I you know I I guess the question is you know when you think of Similia and Althea, you know, how do you envision the Similia and Althea, you know, strategy relationship? Like, it, you know, how important is Similia for Althea? What's your vision of how Similia and Althea will continue to, you know, in the Similia bands wrap together uh, around what's happening in Ethereum? Yeah, I, um, I think that um, we build um, resilience and well-engineered infrastructure um, that Similia needs to be successful. Um, and I also have a, a, a vision that Althea is the onboarding front end for the, um, the decentralized finance world of sommelier. Right. Um, yeah. So that everyone takes that little box, right? And plugs right. it into their, right. and very just easily plugs it into their, um, their ETH, with an Ethernet cable. Um, so hold on a second. Are you saying I could envision a future where I have an Ethernet, I have a box that gives uh, networking access, I get paid with that box, and then that box connects to Sommelier, and then I get in, I can actually get returns on my box's activity. I mean, that's uh, that's a little trippy. Am I dreaming this, or <laughs> is this a reality? Is that's this the what future. You're to yeah, that's exactly. And, and you're telling me I could have this box in in Nigeria or in Latin America, and this box can make money and even get more money. Um, and I just have a box like, and I'm just, and I'm giving, and I'm, and I'm making the world a better place by providing internet access with my box. Is this there what are, you're telling me? There are two core freedoms that we have, which is financial freedom and freedom of communication. And this is what Althea brings to everyone's home. So within this little small box, like I said, anywhere global you are in the world, you'll plug it in and have ownership and empowerment of your finances and of your communication infrastructure. With the box, that's awesome. Okay, so uh, what's next for Althea? We're we're ending Q1 2021. It's April, May, June. What's what's next for Q2 for Althea? And what are you guys working on? So um, we are continuing to iterate tests on the Gravity Bridge, um, and including where we have some really amazing incentivized tests that's coming up for um, uh, the great infrastructure validator set that we have as part of our community. Um, and then we'll be looking to launch our mainnet very soon. Um, All right. Congratulations. That. So, um, wow. yeah. Uh, so wait, you're, you're again going to be a co-founder in two blockchains that will be launching mainnet. And, and you, I, I mean, I don't think there are a lot of people who have been in that position. That's, that's amazing. Uh, it, so this is, this is wild. Yeah, it's, I mean, it, I think the timing is right. Um, the, the vision is here um, and we're just stepping along that path to execute on it. And i um, very excited to be to be part of bringing that vision. We, I, I think, you know, decentralized finance, like I said, financial empowerment and, and communication empowerment, you, we've actually seen this in, happen in emerging markets with things like Impesa, they go together, it makes sense. Right. That's awesome. Congrats. Okay, so we're, we will be taking a keen eye on the Althea uh, mainnet coming up, as well as uh, looking at Althea's work on Gravity for Sommelier. So this will be awesome. Thank you so much. And I, I think folks can, can folks reach out to you in the Sommelier telegrams to say hello as well on the Sommelier Discord? Yes, absolutely. Please do. Uh, right. I, uh, and yeah. they can reach out to you in the Althea Discord and the Althea telegrams as well. That's right. I am part of the internet, so please come find me. <laughs> <laughs> you are part of a series of tubes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. Find me. Tubes. All right. Well, uh, Deborah, this has been amazing. Again, congrats on your leadership role uh, for two successful projects in the cosmos. And uh, we look forward to seeing the Althea mainnet come to life as well as the Sommelier mainnet. Absolutely. Thanks, Tariq. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.